Bonjour gamers, Cody here, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, cuties, we've got to talk about something something important. Setting up goal-oriented thinking, goal-oriented gameplay, however you want to talk, think about it. Setting goals for yourself and actually achieving them in-game to help you not burn out, to help you not want to quit, and help you stay excited and having fun playing the game. But before we jump into it, if you guys enjoy my content here, be sure to sub to the channel I post daily. If you like my videos, make sure to like them. And check me out on Twitch. I stream six days a week. If you are hearing me right now, I am already live, so be sure to click that link in the description box. And lastly, join the community Discord. There's a bunch of incredible people in there. If you're looking for people to hang out with, chat with, play some Lost Ark with, it is definitely the place you want to be. Now let's jump into it. Now, what is goal-oriented content? What is goal-oriented gameplay? What does it mean to be goal-oriented? Well, it's pretty simple. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you'll notice I always have something I want to achieve. It's always something in the short term. It's always something that takes, you know, a couple of weeks, maybe a month, maybe a couple of days. I always have something in the works. I always have some sort of grandmaster plan because this is how I continue to have fun in the game. It's important to set yourself goals that are easily attainable and goals that are realistic for your account because early on, the game kind of does it for you, right? It does, treats you like every other game. Let's say when you're playing WoW or whatever else, it'll say, you need to do this. You want to hit Argos. You need to hit T1. You need to hit T2. You need to hit T3. You need to get 1340 for Aurel. You need to hit 1370 for Argos. But then these goals start getting further and further apart. Now, obviously, the overarching goal is hit 1490 or 1510 or whatever it is for Broshaza. But there's a lot of stuff in between that that you need to actually organize. Because if you just start at level zero and you're like, all right, current content is Vicus hard and that is uh, 1460. Well, then I'm just going to keep honing on my main until I am 1460. And that is a great way, I feel like, to burn out. I'll give you guys examples on my personal journey and my personal goals I set as I was playing, and also talk about the things that I would have changed while I was going through everything. My first goal, obviously, was hitting 1370, was building up my account. Very early on, you have to realize this. Your account is your main character. <laughs> it's not your main character. Building your account is important. Getting a bunch of characters in tier 3 is important. These are massive achievements, and you're going to feel really, really good once you have all six of your characters set up in T3. After that, I would hone my main. I always have been someone who focused on my main character a ton. And so I wanted to get my character to 1370. I wanted to get my character to 1400, 1385. I main swapped a couple times. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to push, you know, 1445 because uh, we hadn't had Vicus yet. I wanted to push 1460 uh, for Vicus hard and then 1475 for a clown. But between all of those checkpoints for my main character, I always took owning breaks on them. At 1415, I took a little break. I started to sell mats. At, let's say, 1430 or 1445, I started to take another break, and I sold mats for quite a while. I changed up my honing methods, where I would sell mats, uh, the mats that I wasn't using, and would keep the mats that I am using. I think the one mistake in this period was where, once I had all my characters in tier 3, they're all at 1340, I took a long time before I actually started to build them, and I think this is the one thing I would change. When I took these breaks, I just made gold, and I just sat on that gold. If I can redo it, I would have taken those moments to actually start building up characters, even if I didn't do them all in one shot, to start building characters up to 1370, start getting them juiced up, because knowing what I know now, I want all my characters to be juiced all the time. I don't want an alt to feel like ass to play, because I play them every day. I play my main as much as I play my alts, as much, everyone's played equally, right? So them being powerful is very, very important to me. Now, even within my honing sessions, I had other things that I wanted to do with my main, because power doesn't just mean the number here goes up. I wanted to get Relic Jewelry. I wanted to get my 5-3 setup. Before even that, I knew Legendary books were going to be going up in price, or I had suspected that they would, so I invested in Legendary books. I wanted to switch to Control because I was like, you know what? I'm curious. It's kind of cheap. I hear that's really, really fun. Let me try it out, and I ended up loving it. So I invested into Control books. I invested into Raid Captain books. I got my 5-3 setup, and I was super happy about that. Even after that, I wanted to get Legendary Grudge when Thornspire came out. I did that. Then I wanted to build all my characters to 1340, then to 1370. I did that. I wanted all of my alts to be in three level three engravings with some gems. And then I did that as well. And finally, I wanted to push everybody to, to 1370. And I wanted everybody to have full gems, 4-3 setup. And I did that. And this has been really, really exciting. This is where I started to realize, I'm like, holy cow, I'm having a blast playing this game. Because honestly, I have been more hyped building up my alts than I've felt about doing anything on my main character. I still love playing my main character. I still love doing all my, my guardians and my legion commanders and all that stuff. But building my actual account, setting goals for my account, has made the game super fun and super exciting and extremely rewarding to play. I think the most obvious reason for this is that my main's already ahead of content. And... 
realistically, even when Clown comes out, it's like, all right, he's got to own for Belshaza. And these are big gaps in honing, right? These are huge tasks to do because honing gets really, really, really hard. And so those dopamine hits become further and further and further apart. So a new character that I like playing, that feels powerful, that is enjoyable to me, getting to Vaulton feels the same way like when my main hit Vaulton, except now I get more Vaultons, right? Now I'm doing, well, I got my Zerka to 1415, I was ecstatic. I got my Deathweight to 1415, I was super happy. And now I'm doing three Vaultons a week. Realizing how much I'm enjoying doing more Vaultons and also doing more Descaludas and getting out of Yoho Jail, I'm like, all right, I want to push up more characters. So I'm like, the next thing I'm planning on doing is going to be pushing up more alts. I might on my main. I'm still trying to figure out right now if my next goal is going to be trying to set up the 5, 3, plus 1 setup for my main character since I do have Legendary Grudge and I want to start rolling that 9, 7 stone. Or do I want to start pushing my alts uh, to 14, 15 and, uh, you know, just have my entire roster at 14, 15 so everyone's doing Descaluda, everyone is doing Vaulton, and then I can start building some alts towards Vicus and kind of find my way from there. Another important thing is whatever is happening in the game, outside of my personal goals, I don't care. If I'm honing my main, and let's say I'm honing my weapon, that means I'm going to be selling Guardian Stones. If I'm honing my alts, and they need Guardians, and not really that many Destructions, and I'm selling Destructions, I'm going to be selling Gems. If they need Gems, and I'll be selling Greater Leapers, and I'll be saving everything else, who knows? No matter what I'm doing, every single action I take on the account, every single action of everything I do every single day is with that goal in mind. When I was selling, going for Legendary Grudge, I sold literally everything because the goal was get legendary grudge. When I wanted to hone my alts, I was doing the you know all pieces level 12 and the two pieces level 17 method, which means all right, I got their weapon done first because the weapon could only had to go to like plus 12, and then that means all right, now I'm selling destructions and I'm saving all of my guardians. They already have bound the greater honor leapers. I sell the uh, the uh, the unbound ones. Sure, right now when I was selling, our mats at an absolute down right now. Yeah, everything's really, really low, but I don't care <laughs> because that's not fun to me. Whether I sell low, buy high, buy high, sell low, I don't care. It all averages out in the end because the important thing to me, the thing I find fun, the thing I find rewarding is attaining my goal. I do whatever it takes to get to the goal, but I am not going to stop or slow down my goal because the game is it, like because the economy is weird or whatever is happening. I don't care. It's just about getting my goal and having the foresight of, okay, well, I know I'm going to have to do this, so let me plan ahead and do whatever I can to efficiently get to the goal, but I'm never going to stop it because, oh, let me wait three months to sell greater honors for them to finally go up in price or something. A perfect example of this is blue crystals. Blue crystals are super low right now, and I know I'm going to need a lot of Fions. I knew I was going to need Fions because eventually I'd want to do my main in 5-3 plus 1. I knew I was going to need Fions because eventually I'm going to want to put my alts in 5-3, and I know I'm going to need Fions because I'm going to have more characters I'm going to want to set up in 4-3 in setups. And so Fions are at a really low price right now, and they've been dropping for quite a while. So once I saw they were going into the 400s, I started to buy, buy Blue Crystals, and I started to buy Fions. So in that scenario, maybe I'm slowing down the initial first goal of, let's say when I started doing this, my I was uh, pushing my alts to 1370 for the first time. And I was like, okay, well, I know I'm going to need Fions. So I slowed down on the honing to 1370, very, very little, a couple of days of selling some extra mats in order to buy some Fions for my characters, because I knew I was going to need like four or 500 Fions to build them in, 13, uh, in their actual legendary 4-3 setup. And now again, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing first, but I do know no matter what I decide to do, I'm going to need Fions. And so I started to invest into Blue Crystals and invest into Fions. I feel like it's really easy to burn out in this game. If this is your first game like this, it can be a lot. If you've come from something like World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft is a massive theme park, obviously super popular MMO, but it always tells you what you need to do. You always have an idea of what you need to do. You either run Mythic Plus, you're running your raids, you have an item level cap. Everything is structured and there's technically an end to the game. It finishes. And so you know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get to the finish line. But if you come from a game like OSRS, if you come from a game like BDO, Lost Ark is like those games where there isn't really a finish line. I guess OSRS kind of has one, but <laughs> let's use BDO as an example. There really isn't a finish line. There technically is, but it is so far beyond that most players will not reach it. And Lost Ark is kind of the same way. Even if your main gets cap item level, you wail out, you become a, a G2G Andy enjoyer, and you hit 1575, right? Well, then what? You want to keep playing the game. So your next character is going to want to hit 1575, and then the next character, and the next character. There is an endless, endless abyss of things you can do. And so it's important to find out what you want from the game, because you cannot play this game efficiently. You can only play this game whatever is efficient in your own in your own definition of that. But of course, these are just my goals. These are just my thoughts. I want to hear from you guys. 
How do you guys feel about this? Do you guys already set goals for yourself? What are some goals that you guys have already set from yourself uh, that you're planning on attaining? Things that you've said in the past? I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you guys enjoy my content, be sure to sub to the channel. If you like the videos, make sure to like them. And be sure to check me out on Twitch if you are hearing me right now. I am already live, so click that link in the description box. I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Lie, lie.